Now Brazil have been coming under critical scrutiny, especially since uh, the days of the Tournoi de France era, where you had a look at them very closely. And although we expect them always to turn on the start, lovely little touch there, but it all came as Ray was speaking there. Diego Simeone. That's a made, of course, of uh, Ronaldo. And it's a good, very good run forward by Lopez. Well, Ray, that's the second time in the game he's been allowed that little bit of latitude on the left. Well, certainly, uh, I know out in Ireland we had Argentina watched, and Lopez was very, very lively out there. And of course, when you've got Ortega and Batistuta up the front there, they're three players that you've got to keep a very close watch on, that's a certainty. He was given away virtually by Werder Bremen after punching a couple of opponents in a game, a German Bundesliga game. Plays at the moment, of course, for Sao Paulo, but has gone to Real Betis. And De Nielsen still very, very nearly got to it. That's a gift. Looks better this time. And swept in there by Ronaldo, but nobody coming forward. And Romario was rather lazing, you might describe it, at the other side of the penalty area. Man in the middle there, Mario Zagala. Beside him is Zico, the famous uh, Zico, who has been brought into the side. And I'm told from my Brazilian friends, he's not noted as a coach. He's been brought in as a kind of icon. Uh, a figure that the players could respect. They really didn't get the team together properly until the tenth game that they played. Suddenly when they played in La Paz, they resorted to that uh, rather savage streak that they have in them. Two men sent off. Back there, right in midfield to Sensini, where Sensini is picking up a lot of the action. And I think that might be a free kick, uh, a latish tackle there on Claudio Lopez I think uh, just about there that's it teamwork of Argentina that's a good ball forward and just offside but the danger again there yes I mean uh, that's two or three times now the balls have been threaded through and yes he, he's probably just offside but it's a very very marginal in fact when you stop it there, he's not, he's level. And uh, it's very difficult for the linesman these days to make those decisions. But you see as the ball's played, he's level. And uh, that's not an offside decision. Nicely touched forward. And now Batistuta. First opportunity, can he put it away? Well, taken away there by Veron, who's come into midfield. Right into the centre of play. Ortega That's a bit of ball, Batistuta Just inside them there, Lopez A really great significance And there the shot, and a wild one by Lopez Seemed to be off balance as he went for it Denilson was getting away Look at the pace here now Brilliantly picked up by Lopez on the left-hand side and Batistuta. And uh, that's why the Brazilians are always going to have a chance. And there's a lovely little touch there by Batistuta. Getting away again by Lopez. Getting away again. There's Batistuta to the right there. Lopez going down the left-hand side. He is again. And the ball, I think, still in play. Very well turned in there by Lopez. And so, if you get the, the balance here, there's Almeida going in here, mixing up with Zé Elias, and you have to be a brave man to do it with him. Look at the pace of this man, Lopez. Just start for the final ball again. Yes, that's what that's what was let Argentina down in the first half and at the start of the second half. They had some tremendous opportunities. And they just needed a good final ball to create the, to the score, goal scoring opportunity. This uh, Valencia player has looked uh, perhaps the greatest potential to break through. Well, you're talking about the, the workhorse in Ortega. He's actually called Del Burrito, the little donkey. I think all these three players share that Ortega, Veron, uh, and Almeida. Good on the ball, good looking on the ball. Well, you expect that from South Americans anyway, don't you expect? 
right forward but the assistant referee had his flag up there burst forward there by Claudio Lopez well they do some of the crudest things here's the breakaway now picked up by Lopez field things he's got involved with but on the field at times with some of these clever plays a kind of Gascoigne player a gas no gives it away too easily that was a very tight looking defensive formation there and busting away in the left Lopez coming in there Junior Baiano he may have hurt himself oh mistake there by Lopez that's Veron nicely turned inside there that's a good save by Tapperell Lopez hitting it sweetly and he can hit them clearly with both the right and the left foot yes yeah, a good strike it's through the defenders legs which is always horrible for a goalkeeper because you see it a little bit later but Tafarel down quick to his right hand side just as he was in that first half to his left hand side to make a good save well he always says his best ever game was in the the Seoul Olympic Games when he saved three penalty kicks in all it's a very narrow angle oh he's good he's broken the deadlock and this time with his right foot and that is what they think about it friendly Ray well you'd expect that sort of uh, enthusiasm from everybody wouldn't you I mean it's a, it's a massive game for them friendly or not they're two rival countries and uh, even the Brazilians are applauding it it was a good goal he was a little bit lucky with the rebound but drew Tafarel and just smashed it over his head and to be fair it's what Argentina deserve Brazil have not really opened up Argentina whereas Argentina on four, five, six occasions have had goal scoring opportunities and haven't taken them this one they have done and Lopez who has worked tirelessly throughout this game deserves that goal and look at Passarella you think he was winning the World Cup itself but I think the best indication the best acclamation of all for Argentina was the Brazilian supporters in this the Maracanã, the holiest of holies applauding this goal maybe those rules haven't got to South America you can't <laughs> tackle from the back yet where they go again this is the goal scorer Lopez tried his left foot that time plenty of time to uh, bring the ball down the crowd are really rubbing it in there there's, you know this ole ole every time Argentina touch the ball this is coming from normally a very patriotic fervent Brazilian crowd rubbing salt right into the wounds you can imagine what the press conference is going to be like at the end for Zagallo well it's uh, an indication of the Brazilians a little bit unsure as to 